the water temperature has now reached 59 amazing just by air convection water temperature is now at 59 the thermostat uh, reads uh, 58.3 but my food thermometer reads 59.60 it's supposed to alarm at 60 just to wake me up it's supposed to shut off at 65 and it's supposed to turn on at 63 maintaining the temperature between 63 and 65 this is a 1300 watt uh, okay alarm has happened no problem no problem just press one button and when it comes down to 60 it will all again set an alarm that's a backup alarm but this thing supposed to turn on at 63 and supposed to turn off at 65 as I said the rating for this one is 1500 watts actually I look inside and it's at 10 It's a 10 ampere uh, relay. So 10 amperes times uh, 220 volts is about 2,200 watts. But they only specified 1,500 watts here. And we are just half of uh, the rating. The air blower is about is 800 watts. But actually, I think it's only 300 watts. And actually the reading is about only 150 because I'm running it at half the power, about 103 watts. So we are at 61 now. I'm so excited to see what will happen. We're just going to watch and watch. For emergency, I can just shut this off. The meter is there under. This is the emergency switch. You can just actually turn it off like this. And it still runs. 62. See, it goes to turn on 63 and below. And turn off 65. So we'll just watch and watch. The whole reason we are trying to do this is because it's because uh, the whole reason we are trying to do this is because the uh, uh, Bible says that we should not cook food on the Sabbath in Exodus when the manna came and that uh, God scolded the Israelites for cooking food and for looking for food. Uh, also the spirit of prophecy agrees with that and uh, says that everyone who cooks food on the Sabbath transgresses the fourth commandment and also adventist.org the official website says the buying and preparation of food should be done before the sabbath and also the same document is in bri uh, despite the sayings that we can cook because we can heat we can actually heat lng white says we heat the food which is cooked the previous day why would you heat food which you just cooked on the Sabbath so we hit the food that is cooked in previously however the food safety websites say that food should be okay food should be only uh, kept uh, higher than 60 degrees Celsius or lower than 10 degrees Celsius in, uh, in a freezer or in a heater that's the safe way to preserve food and see, since okay it has turned off now at 65 degrees C C celsius 60 uh, yeah, 65 it turned off my food temp temp thermometer says it's 66 it's supposed to keep the temperature that way let's see how fast it goes down let me continue my discussion uh, so uh, the food safety website 
says that we are supposed to maintain the food at 65 degrees higher in the old times in the province they used to try to do that with uh, thermal insulation like palai or bayami or cloth or putting blanket over the stove not the stove over the pots and it still lasts in the next day uh, or other people put it in the refrigerator but in the olden days there were no refrigerators and uh, you, from the refrigerator you can just heat the food in the microwave or in the regular cooker heating is allowed as long as you cook the previous uh, it is the, the, the food was cooked in the previous day so the idea was uh, is it cheaper to maintain the food on 65 higher or to freeze the food and heat it the next day uh, my hypothesis is that uh, heating all the food like in large quantities takes a lot of work so I'm experimenting on keeping the food warm above 60 degrees Celsius one problem would happen is that it might lose uh, water it might evaporate slowly and the next day the food might be uh, dry now one solution to that is to make the air more humid than the food you can use a uh, steam uh, like the show my business how they maintain the food the whole day we can have a humid uh, sensor humidity sensor and we can generate steam or we can also cover the trays the the food trays with uh, plastic so that the humidity will not the water will not escape but i think the it might be that the steam as you see the temperature is now at 64 it says it's in 66 if we use steam i think it will it might double for the heater also and uh, we can copy the show my thing about that however i just want to test using convection only because i have seen commercial food heaters uh, where you can put like 20 trays and they said it's only 1700 watts and they say uh, they say that uh, it is insulated I think it's about 2 inch thick insulation and they say that only 1700 watts can keep food warm safely like 20 trays of uh, uh, food so we experimented with and using only convection using convection using only convection and uh, so i tried to use convection now air convection with a hair dryer pointed directly to the water inside the rice cooker pot as you see it takes quite some time for the temperature to go down and i think the the despite of the leakage of heat it's not such a big problem I feel the heat this is just a 3 4 inch insulation but the temperature is still at 64 I have finished already my discussion and we are still at 64 it will turn on again at 63 supposed to be and when it reaches 65 it will turn off again and it can maintain that cycle throughout the night and throughout the day you can cook your food if this all works you can cook your food like friday afternoon all your food put it in storage like this turn on the it will be better if you turn on the heat or keep put the food inside when it is really hot so the heater doesn't have to work a lot especially if you have lots of food it's better to heat it even the commercial uh, food heaters active commercial food heaters uh, write that in their literature that you have to put hot food inside instead of putting cold food and letting it hot uh, letting it heat using the heater it's supposed to maintain only not to heat the food so we are still at 64 it takes so such a long time 
uh, you could do this with rice cookers. Rice cookers, the big ones, the 50 cup rice cookers have two thermostats. Uh, the first thermostat is for the keep uh, warm. And there are about two circuits, a high load, high circuit and the low circuit. The, the keep warm thermostat is calibrated usually at 65 or 63. And it, it automatically activates the high circuit when it reaches the temperature is lower so it keeps the the, <coughs> the food high at above 65 that's the big rice cookers I have bought three of them I have tried all of them I have monitored their uh, maintaining temperatures and they are all calibrated to be to keep food uh, higher than 60 degrees Celsius of course when you press the cook button it will try to raise the temperature until 100 degrees Celsius and after 100 degrees Celsius it will just return back to keep warm mode that's I think how rice cookers work uh, based on the observations from small rice cookers like this one and from big rice cookers like the 50 cup rice cookers which I have but I lent to several food ministries for them to uh, try to uh, keep the Sabbath holy by avoiding cooking. So after several minutes of talking, after 11 minutes or 9 minutes of talking, we are still at 63 degrees Celsius. So if this works, uh, instead of buying uh, 60,000 peso food, uh, food heaters, stainless steel, uh, Maybe we will just convert the old refrigerators because they have good insulation. We'll just convert them to heaters by using thermostats from the internet and <laughs> and uh, air blowers, <laughs> air blowers <laughs> from the Chinese stores, and it will be cheap, and uh, we we can just make up for insulation now the temperature is 63 and uh, yeah we can uh, just engineer the electricals so that it will be safe and within the specifications only loading circuits by half and we can also put some intelligent monitoring to see if the intelligent monitoring it's now 63.2 it says 64 in true temp, uh, 65. So anytime now, this, the blower will start running again. By the way, it's 63.1 now. The reason I pointed the the there is the hair blower directly. Yes, it's running now. <coughs> so running now and trying to raise the temperature back to 65 according to true temp it's 64 degrees celsius so the water inside the rice cooker pot is now in safe temperature for food preservation because it, the bottom temperature is 63 and the uh, 63 and 65 the maintaining temperature is between 63 and 65 degrees Celsius let's see how long does it take to reach 65 <clears throat> I was saying that the, the hair blower is pointed directly to the water because I was, ex I was trying to just put the hair blower on the, inside this uh, box and blow the air around, blow the air around, but it, it uh, was damaging the styrofoam. So I just pointed it straight into the, into the water so that it will not damage the, it was almost burning the styrofoam because this is sensitive to heat. So uh, maybe for improvement, we can line the or line this uh, styrofoam inside 
with uh, with aluminum foil like how they line laptops with aluminum foil so that the processors and the GPU will not burn the plastic so I can line this up with aluminum foil which is uh, like a tape but I could not find my aluminum foil wow it stopped at 65 so that's uh, that will be the cycle uh, generally at 65 it will turn off and at 63 it will turn on and let's see what's inside yeah wow heat there's much steam there's a lot of steam here and that's the blower how they are inside actually they're okay it's quite hot it's actually 65 degrees celsius okay amazing praise the lord god is helping us to discover things mainly i'm doing this because in the house you can actually avoid cooking on sabbath with the rice cooker and the refrigerator but in big food service companies or departments or school cafeterias it's a big problem because they don't know how to do it so let's try to help them keep the sabbath uh, observe the sabbath holiness by maybe converting old refrigerators which we have a lot i just saw in the other the other day last sunday in auction there's a lot of old refrigerators commercial ones with two inch stick to three inch stick uh, insulation in front back bo top bottom and you can just convert them with this praise the lord 